Miss Ventura said that she referred to her grandfather as Pop Pop, Mr. Combs perversely insisted that she refer to him with that nickname. Now that is the move of a true weirdo. Over the Bro, that's decade, weird. Each what do you call your grandpa? Pop Pop. Okay, now call me Pop Pop. What? You are a weird. What's up everybody, it's your boy Rado Rizzo, the Shadow Kage of the Hidden Village, and I'm finally back. I'm healthy. Back to get to streaming. Back to get to streaming. About to get back to streaming. See, it's been so long to talk to the camera, talking to the mic, that I don't even know what's going on. But today we're going to be re reacting to the destruction of P. Diddy. This is courtesy of Jamari. Make sure you check out his page. Subscribe to him, as you can see. I'm already subscribed to him. So... Check him out if you want more content of this. This is not my own content. Trust me. I did not do the hard work that he did to make this video. I'm just reacting to it. So give him his flowers. That's Jamari. Make sure you subscribe to him. But let's get to the video. So at this point, it has been over two months since Diddy began to self-destruct. On the morning of March 25th, the world watched on as the walls began to be knocked down. Diddy's LA he was like, oh, mansion said both He was out of town. He posted like a, a video of someone on a plane when this happened. I remember that. Um, I remember that video servicing or whatever. He was on a plane when all of this happened. So they kind of missed the mark with that if they wanted to, you know. Both been raided by the feds. And we're still trying to figure out where exactly he did. He Everybody is there getting any sense of how long that could take after a raid. Everybody getting the smoke, bro. It could take weeks. It could take months. And the reason why is because they gathered so much evidence. Was supposedly they gathered so many videos. So with that being said, they've been watching Cuz for a minute. You feel me? So you know what I'm saying? It ain't just a Cassie thing. There's got to be more than that. So before you quick the judge. Then again, I don't know if he's guilty or not. Not saying he's guilty or not, but hey. They've been mounting this up on him for a minute, cuz. Like, they really sat down and set down a coordinate attack for this. So whatever he doing, it's been seen for a long time. They were just waiting for this moment to finally, you know, execute. They was maybe waiting for the Cassie situation. And I've heard of that to come out first. And then they use that for more... Um, ammunition to raid his crib and they have to now conduct a forensic investigation of those items videos of diddy pacing back and forth went public and it was why that's so pixelated hiding out overseas since then things have definitely quieted down on the diddy front he had apparently returned back home people had even seen him out in public and like but everybody pointing over everybody pointing decades it looked like he was once again going to be getting off he look crazy as hell hey l true. artist l artist whoever drew that picture p d look crazy as hell look at it Three decades it looked like he look was at once it, he again like... going to be getting <laughs> off the hook after all this is an extremely rich and powerful man he crazy as shit. alleged was doing dirty disgusting things in the background for quite some time oh i heard about he that still a staple in the but the justin bieber thing that's crazy i like when you like this daddy when you put my bag daddy in. i like when you when you're scrambling and scraping for no, 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 i, got I like that hey them street cats fab and jada kiss them street cats and they looking like Hold up, homie. I'll tell you one person he wouldn't have done that with, though. Cameron. Cameron or Mace? They would have been like, yo, pause, bro. Like, what are you saying? Like, don't call me that, bro. I leave that for the women, bro. Like, what is you on right now, G? We, we party for my birthday before. You came to my party. No, but me and you ain't never really party. You know what I'm saying? P. Diddy be wanting the body. And you got to tell him no. The you infamous cat. Bottom. But I make no excuses. My behavior on that video is inexcusable. I take full responsibility for my actions in that video. I'm disgusted. I was disgusted then when I did it. I'm disgusted now. I went and I sought out professional help. I did I go could. therapy. Be real with you, dog. <laughs> I think you just disgusted you. You getting called out now. Like... I think you discussed it that you're getting caught up now, bro. I'm going to be real with you because I don't know if your actions would have changed if you wasn't getting caught up right now. Just saying. But, hey, I don't know. So that must be true, whatever that situation is. Going to rehab. Him beating on Cassie was true. 
had to ask God for his mercy and grace, I'm so sorry. I'm not asking for forgiveness. I'm truly sorry. And sadly, due to the statute of limitations, apparently Diddy cannot be tried for his actions that day. And of course, this incident is actually one of many that was presented in Cassie's lawsuit against P. Diddy that she filed last November, where she sought damages over trafficking, physical violation, and physical abuse. And this suit would actually be settled out of court only one day after it was filed. And big bag. She got a big bag. Dollars. Thirty mil. No number on where they Damn. I would have settled too, cause thirty mil a lot of money. Include, that he was romantically interested in Miss Ventura, and that was allegedly Kid Cuddy who's not Cuddy. Up, forced Miss Ventura to engage in not day and night. Mm -mm, I toss and turn. I keep stressing my mind. Yeah. Not him. Sacks with male workers while dating and filming the encounters ran out of his apartment with a firearm in pursuit of a rivalry industry executive whom he learns was nearby. This was allegedly Suge Knight demanded the oh, shit. to carry his firearm in her purse. He chased down Suge with the scrappies. Demonstrate how dangerous he is and introduce Miss Ventura to a lifestyle of excessive alcohol and substance abuse and required her to procure illicit prescriptions to satisfy his own addictions. These two actually met back in 2005 when Cassie was only 19 years old. Apparently she got on his radar and he heard her first single playing in the club and immediately became interested in signing her with his label Bad Boy Records. Cause a predator. And his record that was haunting me in the club. Public figure in the hip hop industry. Mr. Combs asserted complete control over Miss Ventura's personal and professional life thereby ensuing her inability to escape his hold. He provided unprecedented- He got her locked in with the 360 of death. No, why she ain't released no music. He got her so wrapped around her his finger, bro. She can't even fart without ownership. You feel me? He got ownership over her farts. Avenues of success for the aspiring a relationship with Miss Ventura, a woman nearly two decades his junior. Within a year of signing to Bad Boy Records, Mr. Combs became deeply entrenched in Miss Ventura's life, almost immediately asserting possession and control over her and inserting himself into all aspects of her career and personal life. And when Cassie first found out that Diddy was interested in her romantically, allegedly she was grossed out by the idea due to ah. his father-like relationship ah. she developed with her at the She looked at him like, a oh, weird, you know, hey, y'all know how in, in the warehouses, if you ever worked in the warehouse, it's usually an older guy, like, usually in his 50s, not as, Diddy ain't that old, I don't think, and at, at that time, but in their 50s, they be like, tricking off on a little young shorty, coming through the door, 18, 19 years old, she hot stuff, everybody want her, he's like willing to trick off on her, that's probably how she seen him, like, okay, buy me shoes, buy me, but dude, you, you like my uncle, like, calm down, old man, but obviously somehow he got her. So what can I say? I'm just a broke streamer with no clout right now. So, hey, what can I say? And when Miss Ventura said that she referred to her grandfather as Pop Pop, Mr. Combs perversely insisted that she referred to him with that nickname. Now, that is the move of a true weirdo. Over the Bro, that's day, weird. Each what do you call your grandpa? Pop Pop. Okay, now call me Pop Pop. What? You are a weird... You weird, Here, Puffy. Hey, a lot, bro. Miss Ventura, leaving bruises on her body. After every instance in which he beat her, Mr. Combs used his money and power to orchestrate extensive efforts to hide the evidence of his abuse, including hiding Miss Ventura in hotels for days at a time to let her bruises heal. This is something that apparently happened this time nuts. and time again. As the lawsuit does list multiple instances of Diddy putting his hands on Cassie, and even details the network of people involved in covering these incidents up. She was allegedly kept away from family. Poor and girl. Was apparently even told to lie when questioned about these rumors of a the fear of again being on the receiving end of a vicious beating. By Mr. Combs' own admission, his relationship with Miss Ventura was like Bobby and Whitney. A clear acknowledgement of what? unequal power. Bro. What? Hell comparison, bro. Bobby and Whitney was on drugs, my boy. Was you trying to tell us something? Was you trying to was you trying to drop a little subliminal in that? You know what I'm saying? Like, come on, man. That didn't end too well. So I mean I wouldn't 
prefer to Bobby and Whitney. Dynamic and but hey, domestic violence that permeated right, buddy. the relationship. Her volatile and a partner who also owns her label and therefore held her future success in his hands. See, look, look, look. This is the hard part about it. Not only do she date a powerful music mogul, he is the same powerful music mogul over her label. That's ultimate mixing business with pleasure. Capital L for her decision. At the end of the day, it's 95% his fault for being a predator over her, but it's still a little bit her fault. It's a little bit her fault. Or just a little bit. She don't deserve getting beat, don't get it wrong. But she shouldn't have got with that man, bro. He manipulated her. Big but at the end of the day, he should have thought. She should have thought like, God, this, he too old, bro. Sight? I do. I do. Was it love at first sight with your boyfriend? It was a long time ago. <laughs> <laughs> what makes you guys work? Um, well, I think what makes any relationship work, if it is working, is, you know, just not talking about it too much and just keeping it close to your heart. Furthermore, within months of the inception of their relationship, Cassie claims that Diddy was already shelling her out to other she men. She danced around that, that question. While in New York City, Mr. Combs she told cha -cha -cha that around that question. to engage in a fantasy of his own called Prism. Mr. Combs said it would turn him on if he saw Miss Ventura with another Basically, she's alleging that Diddy was in the corner watching. Mr. Combs began Cook? to call his arrangement a freak off or FO. He would repeatedly tell Miss Ventura at random moments that oh. he wanted an FO, and Miss Ventura was eventually expected to facilitate the location and the hiring of the male working at the Trump International Hotel in Columbus Circle, a hotel in. That's very weird. Somebody that you want to control that much. Why are you okay with another man being with him? I don't know. I ain't trying to get in his the mindset. Hills, so. the London Hotel Let me not Los question. Angeles, the Intercontinental mm. Cent During an FO at the Intercontinental Hotel in Century City, Los Angeles, Mr. Combs became extremely intoxicated and punched Miss Ventura in the face. After he fell asleep, she tried to leave the hotel room, but as she exited, Mr. Combs awoke and began screaming at her. He followed her into the hallway of the hotel while yelling at her. He grabbed at her and then took glass vases in the hallway and threw them at her, causing glass to crash around them as she ran to the elevator to escape. She managed to get into the elevator, and when she got to the lobby, quickly took a cab to her apartment. Upon realizing that her running away would cause Mr. Combs to be even angrier with her and completely stuck in his vicious cycle of abuse, Miss Ventura returned to the hotel with the intention of apologizing for running away from her That when sucks, she returned, bro. Hotel security staff urged her to get back into the cab and to go to her apartment, suggesting that they had seen the security footage showing Mr. Combs her and throwing glass at her in the hotel hallway. Upon information and belief, Mr. Combs paid the Continental Century City fifty thousand dollars for the hallway security footage. For that's that nuts. And remember, so, guys, that's the footage. He didn't get arrested for that. He was able to bribe the hotel. Just not even by the money. It's not even about the money. It's his notoriety that was able to persuade the hotel or something that they know. Like, hold up, this ain't right. His celebrity status was able to like able to like provide a shield. His money too. That fifty thousand dollars. Ooh, we mm, he slept, they slept. Hey, whoever the manager, whatever supervisor, whoever was there, they slept good after that day. But something blatantly wrong, bro. You able to like. In America? That's in America, right? <coughs> That's nuts. That's nuts to me. ...that they're saying is coming from this raid. So who knows what else they had? Who knows what else is going to leak? Of course, there's many other details of other incidents in this court filing. But if one thing I plan to break down as more comes to light... Oh yeah, now we'll be here, my boy. ...Kardashian's potentially being involved. Oh talking man. about him inviting the baby up to his room during the peak of his career that might have sparked those statements that he made on that rolling loud stage. Oh, cuz. Did he crib? Did he had he had put everybody else out the crib? Like the the influx of people he had put him out. 
but he had he had uh he had took a, a liking to me in particular around the time, man. It was really you know what I mean, like putting his arm around me. Right. Either way, I will continue to keep you guys updated on the Diddy situation. So the baby subscribe. Of course, I also want to thank you guys for watching today's video. But as you guys know, it's been your boy, the Tan Superman. Hey, some other viral news out here needs to be. I appreciate you, Jamari, Thanks. man. I appreciate it. I love the video, How my boy. Think? I appreciate the um the content he puts out. But now we're going to jump into another video.